Hello everyone, this is Thomas Kincaid. You know, if you're like me, you probably grew up enjoying those classic Disney movies. Well, I'm unveiling today my first ever tribute to a Disney classic. The painting is entitled, Snow White Discovers the Cottage. Now, if you remember those classic moments from the original Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs film, you'll know why this is considered Walt Disney's first and perhaps his greatest masterwork. I utilized very specialized techniques in creating this painting. Initially, I did a full color sketch, laying out the composition just as it appeared in my mind. To gain inspiration for my composition, I was allowed to research the original archive for Walt Disney Studios. In the archive, we discovered many classic works, some of which have never been published before. The production sketches behind the scenes of this film were enormous. Thousands upon thousands of drawings, paintings, color studies allowed artists to recreate the fairy tale in a brand new way. After the completion of my color study, I began to work the details in the painting. I explored the idea of a waterfall beside the cottage because in the original production drawings, a waterfall was featured. You can almost see the bubbling and churning of the falls as it cascades over the rocks. The light is cascading around the foreground, suggesting shadows and light, the two themes of the movie. For after all, Snow White must escape the shadows of the darkness of evil and enter the light of warmth and home as represented by the Seven Dwarfs Cottage. In the distance we see the castle where Snow White's future happiness is awaiting her. A pathway reminds us that even our greatest dreams are just around the corner if we can hold on to our hope. Of course in the painting I enjoyed the whimsical animal touches. These allowed me to call upon the original production design which featured animals as humanized characters, what was referred to as anthropomorphic animation. In the story, the animals guide Snow White to the discovery of the cottage. And of course, in my painting, this is the exact moment depicted. The flowers are resplendent. After all, what would a Thomas Kincaid painting be without abundant flowers and color everywhere? In the design for my characterization of Snow White, I included many details found on the live action characterization available today in Walt Disney World and at the Disneyland theme parks. You know, it's funny how paintings can reflect experiences in your life. In my life, I remember so distinctly the first time I saw the movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It was at a matinee showing at the old Empire Theater. The Empire Theater featured a 50-cent matinee, and I remember Snow White was making its appearance in Placerville for the first time in years. Well, if you like the enchantment of childhood, I hope you'll enjoy this painting. You know, if you study my works, they're really all about celebrating nature and celebrating the world in a romantic light, so to speak. That's why I enjoy playing with lighting effects in my paintings. As you dim the light in this painting, you will begin to see the glow from the windows of the cottage be that much more prominent. A welcoming hint that safety awaits Snow White if she can just hold on to her hope. As we bring the lights back up, you see the glow in the distance, suggesting the light of hope that is breaking over the horizon behind the castle itself. Of course, what would a Thomas Kincaid painting be without all those hidden details? In this painting, I had fun because I painted seven hidden ends as a tribute to my wife, Nanette, but I also included seven hidden Mickeys. Now, for those of you who don't know, these hidden Mickeys are a theme that emerges as you study the history of Walt Disney Productions. Many of the movies, and in fact the theme parks themselves, feature hidden Mickey silhouettes. It's a reminder that as Walt Disney always said, it all began with a mouse. You never know where you'll find these Mickeys, in the details of the architecture, in the foliage itself, and maybe even slumped over in some of the rocks in the foreground. I always say that my paintings are for real people, people who enjoy life and enjoy beauty, not necessarily for those who have studied art or who know the traditions of painting. 
These paintings are for everybody. That's especially true in this painting because here is a work of art the entire family can enjoy. How wonderful to think that this painting can become a treasured part of your family, a work of art to be shared across the generations. Now that's what I call sharing the light. This is Thomas Kincaid and I hope all your fairy tale dreams will come true. God bless. Thank you.